Yo, what are you guys? Going to be here back in Fortnite video. So, today I'm going to show you guys how to get a custom crosshair in Fortnite and also turn off mouse acceleration completely in Fortnite. So, um, if you guys ever know, Fortnite does have mouse acceleration turn on um, pretty much all the time. So, it's only one way to turn it off. And even if you do turn, like, go into settings and hit turn mouse acceleration off, um, it's not actually going to be off. So, I'm going to show you guys um, how to actually turn it off 100%. And this also works for pretty much every game in existence and also i'm going to show you how to get a custom crosser and this doesn't only work for fortnite guys so um so in fortnite the crosser is pretty small can be hard to see it sometimes especially since they added a freaking um they turned the map pretty much half the map with um snow so now it's pretty much impossible impossible that you're gonna um be able to see your crosshairs um at certain times and also while you shoot it especially long ranges bro like it's so annoying so uh, as you can see this crosshair is much better and also you can customize to however you want with color size and you also you can add in custom um crosshairs it's a like pretty much a bunch of options that you can choose it's all up to you guys so it only takes around i don't know maybe like two minutes so it's not gonna be a long video so yeah let's get on to it uh, pretty much this step is going to be su super simple as I explained. So what you want to do is go ahead and um, click on the first link in the description that I posted to you guys. And it's going to bring you to this page. So you want to go ahead and click download on this. If there's something that says skip ad, go ahead and click that. And then actually um, download this folder. Once that is downloaded, um, well actually while that is downloading, go ahead and click on the second link. And it will take you to this website. Go ahead, click this uh, thing right here. And uh, that will automatically download... Um, a f another zip file so once you for so actually for this step you do need to get um winrar <laughs> yeah so uh that's actually pretty easy guys just look just go ahead on, on google type in winrar or on zip something to extract zip files pretty much it doesn't matter what you have um it's a, a bunch of t tutorials on those actually so shouldn't take too long for you guys to get that i'm pretty sure 90 percent of you guys actually have this on your computer anyway so um yeah so once that's <laughs> the files are downloaded go ahead um Click show in folder or just go to your downloads folder, drag them towards your desktop or wherever you want them to be. So once they're in the um, designated folder that you want them, just go ahead, right click on them, click um, extract to whatever, just extract it um, to that spot. Uh, then you're going to get this um, folder once it's um, extracted. So just click extract to blah, blah, blah. Open up the folder. Go ahead and um, double click. Uh, it'll bring you to this website here. So just click, not website, what am I talking about? Inside the folder, go ahead and open the overlay tool. Um, I actually have two of these open. Let's only keep one open. So once you have that open, uh, just go ahead. Um, you want to go ahead and open Fortnite. Then hit um, activate menu. So once that is open, you want to go to scripts. Uh, turn on crosshair overlay. Do not turn on auto clicker or any of these. It shouldn't allow you to turn on the... Um, the um second one but i do not turn any of those on uh just go ahead and choose your preset if you do have a um custom crosser you want to um upload in this mod it does allow you to do that so pretty much you just hit upload image if you have a custom one you made or that you want to download uh kind of similar to other i don't know if you have a pretty much just a custom crossers that you want just go ahead and hit upload image it does come with some um uh, three presets right now so you have the cross circle outline and circle field so <clears throat> Go ahead and click the cross or whatever you want. Uh, then usually it comes in where you can't see it because the size is so small. So just drag the size up to whatever you want. I'm going to keep it on this one for right now. Uh, go towards your settings. Um, and with these arrow keys, you can actually set the position of the crosshair. So pretty much you're going to line that up with the dot in the middle. So that pretty much makes sure that you're going to have 100% accuracy whenever you're aiming with this crosshair. So it's not... Um, so yeah, so pretty much to get it into alignment with the crosser that's already in the game. So this is 100% lined up right now. Uh, once that is lined up, um, just go ahead and you hit X on the... You can hit, just hit X on the overlay tool. So it's not really going to do anything. So just hit X. There you go. And now you do have the overlay tool. So you can keep it like this if you want. It's all up to you guys. So what you want to do is go ahead and hit S on your keyboard to open up the settings. Go to the settings. I also, guys, make sure you're in window full screen or this is not going to work. I, I'm pretty sure I said that like seven times already, but just, just to be safe. Uh, then you're going to go to settings, go to HUD, or you can be in window. It's up to you guys. Go to reticle, and you want to turn that off if you do want it off. And now, look at this, guys. You have a 100% accurate crosshair. If I shoot, the bullet goes exactly where I aim. Uh, but there's a bit of bloom. So, um, okay. So one other downside to this is you're not going to get the bloom effect. So pretty much you're going to have to, um, not really guess, but if you're used to it already, you know that after pretty much around 
three to three shots at max usually sometimes four to the scar is gonna have a lot of blooms so pretty much after you take every three shots you might want to take a break i don't know it, it really doesn't matter because um if you see the bloom or not and this way it's not really um that bothering or not distracting when you're aiming so usually the bloom will like go all over and then your crosshair will like jump up but now that it doesn't have any bloom it'll kind of keep your mind on target a bit more so yeah, that's about it for this part. So let's go ahead and show you guys how to actually turn off mouse acceleration. You guys who play with this um, app a bit more to get custom custom crosshairs, that's all up to you. But this is a pretty simple step. Doesn't really take too much. So let's go ahead and um, yeah, just close this out right now. Now for the second step on how to actually eliminate mouse acceleration by 100%. So all right, so for the Mark C Windows fix, you want to go ahead and um, hit Extract to Mark C blah blah blah, and it'll, you'll get this folder right here. Is it on my desktop already? Let's check. Uh, it is not. So let's go ahead and go to downloads. Mark C. It's got to be here. Hold on. Mark C. Okay, there we go. Let's put one on our desktop. There we go. So it's gonna be. It's gonna pop up wherever you, wherever you had this um, zip file. Go ahead and open that. Uh, go towards Windows 10. If you have Windows 7, go to Windows 7. But um, if you have Windows 10, go to Windows. Um, what is it called? Windows 10. And both, um, what I'm about to do works for both, both either Windows 7 or 10. So just make sure you're in the right folder, depending on what machine you have. Most, of, probably 80% of you guys are gonna have Windows 10. So go ahead, open that. So, all right. So what do you do? Uh, before you do anything else, make sure you right-click on your desktop, go to Display Settings. So, and then you would put your, um, pretty much your uh, size of your text and apps towards 100% while you're gaming. Whatever. Just so make sure this is 100% while you're gaming. Uh, don't try 125, 150, or 175. I'll recommend 100%. This way, usually the acceleration works a lot better with this one. So keep that at 100%. You guys are probably going to be on this anyways. So uh, then you want to go down towards where you see it says um, Windows 10 fix. Item size 100%. So we're going to go ahead and double click on that. It's going to say, do you want to allow this this app to make changes to your device? Hit yes. Give it something. Uh, and then usually something pops up again. Hit OK. So mine's already applied. So there's no need for me to do that twice. And also, I just want to say you can remove this if you do want to. If you don't like it, uh, if you don't like it once uh, you're finished the tutorial, you do the same thing, but with the Windows 10 default. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask in the comments down below, by the way. All right. So once you hit yes, OK, um, you want to go ahead and um, hit your windows key and r at the same time so pretty much it looks like this so it's gonna look like a box yeah your windows key and your keyboard so just hit that and r and it will pop this up so once that pops up you want to type in percent app data percent at data percent uh hit okay go to your go to your um what is it called app data file go to local uh once you're in local go towards you want to go towards your search and type in Fortnite. Once you type in Fortnite, go ahead and open your Fortnite game folder. Go to save, go to config, go to Windows client, go to game user settings. Uh, make sure this is not a read only so you can edit it. So go ahead and do that. Open that. Um, you want to type in, hit control F and type in mouse. And it'll take you to this section that says mouse acceleration. Uh, it's usually going to be on false. Uh, so you need to change this to true. So just pretty much do delete that type in capital T R U E. Then you want to go ahead and hit file save. Also, if control F doesn't work on you and your work for you in your Mac, just go ahead and um, actually look for it um, through here. It's going to be pretty. Yeah, it's going to be just a few lines down. You'll see B is B disabled mouse acceleration. So uh, once you're out of that and you hit save, go ahead, right click and hit properties read only. So if read, if you don't do this, it's always going to reset. Uh, when you uh, whenever you open Fortnite, it's gonna reset and uh, it is gonna turn back on acceleration. So make sure you right click and hit properties and hit read only. Then this is the last step, and you're pretty much finished with this video. So, <clears throat> oh my god, bro, I, I think I'm gonna die right now. So go ahead, um, type in mouse, go to change your mouse settings, go to additional mouse settings, and then you want to go to pointer options and you want to make sure that you have this on the one, two. Oh my god, why is it acting weird? Allow me to change it. All right, so you want to go ahead and uh, make sure this is on one, two, three, five, six. Make sure it's on the six options. So then you should have five um, spaces on the left, on the right, and six should be the middle. Make sure it's on the middle point. How you guys might have more than me, 
100% of the times you probably don't but just in case make sure it's on the middle option to where it's even on both the left and the right so I have five on the left five on the right it's in the center uh, hit apply hit OK and there we go guys so what you want to do what, what you want to do right now is pretty much just restart your computer uh, once you log back in and your computer is fully shut down and restarted uh, the mouse acceleration is going to take place and you're going to notice a big difference so whenever you're aiming moving your mouse it's not going to randomly speed up or slow down it's going to be um, accurate 100% of the times well yeah so that's pretty much it for the video if you guys have any questions at all just go ahead and ask it in the comments down below this is a pretty simple tutorial shouldn't take you guys too long to do I did um, take a bit longer to explain this than I wanted to that's because I, I just want to make sure you guys do this right and um, just in case you guys didn't remember um, if you want to remove this um, setting just go to Windows uh, to do the um, default just pretty just do the default restart and it'll revert back to normal so don't worry about your computer being stuck in that mode and I don't see any reason why you want to have a solution on because it doesn't help at all but um yeah that's pretty much it for the video see you guys in the next one and I'm out